Hello, it's good to greet you. My name is uh, Sven Olling. I'm the ambassador of Denmark to the Republic of Korea. Some 10 years ago, uh, we were looking at the world saying, where do we want? we want? We want our research networks, our innovation ecosystem mm -hmm. to be plugged in to the true innovation centers in the world. Mm -hmm. So we chose seven places in the world to open innovation centers. And this is staff working to connect the ecosystems of our innovators and researchers. So they are in startups. Uh, so you could say where well, we have, uh, in most embassies have commercial departments, export departments, mm -hmm. and they look at the immediate export contract. What can you do in terms of investment, exports, imports? Mm -hmm. The idea of an innovation center is much more long-term. Okay. So here we're talking about quantum, mm -hmm. seaweed. We're talking about smart hospitals. How can we prepare through scientific and innovation cooperation? How can we prepare that through networks mm -hmm. between the best minds of the world to be prepared for something that might be commercial down the road? Mm -hmm. The good news is that it works. Yeah. We are two uh, nations that want to tackle mm -hmm. the issues that we're facing uh, in a bold way. Mm -hmm. We are facing aging of our population, we are facing the global uh, climate change. Mm -hmm. Korea and Denmark are two of the most innovative countries in the world, mm -hmm. two of the most technologically advanced countries in the world, mm -hmm. and we want to find solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, we are really out there saying, okay, let's look at this. How are we going to tackle these uh, challenges uh, mm -hmm. to us? So it's both you know, being innovative right. as societies. Mm -hmm. Korea ranks very high on the International Innovation Index, so does uh, Denmark. Mm -hmm. If we put our, our boldness together, wow we can really achieve things. You, you're right, it, it is fascinating, isn't it? Because you look at the, at the globe and you say, there are two little dots on the globe, uh, quite far away from each, each other, and that there's so much going on. There's so many students who want to come study in Korea. There's so many Koreans uh, visiting, and there's so much going on in investments, uh, in commercial and in political uh, exchange. I think it has to do with a similar mindset that um, we're bold nations. You know, we want to change the world. Uh, it's bold to say something like that, but we want to change the world. We think we have answers. We think our researchers, innovators, and leaders have answers mm -hmm. to the problems we are facing domestically and internationally. Mm -hmm. And because we think that way alike, uh, we want a rules-based international order. We want the United Nations uh, to be a leading factor in the world so that we can all agree and live in peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. And together we react strongly mm -hmm. when we see challenges to that, like from North Korea mm -hmm. or from Russia and their illegal war in the, the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. We are nations that react to that and we want to find solutions uh, to that. Mm -hmm. So there is a common spirit in, in this, this <laughs> yes, fighting spirit, you know, we, we, we tackle the problems. Mm -hmm. It's. Um, we're amazed and we're honored by the, all the attention uh, that uh, Korean authorities, the people of Korea, uh, are giving that. Because after all, it was a hospital ship 70 year, 73 years ago that was, uh, that was uh, sent. Um, and there are many other huge contributions uh, to the Korean War. But I think what fascinates people is that, that we were such a small country, so far away, with no relations with Korea, hardly no re any relations with Korea, before then, if you'd ask people in the street, where's Korea, they would be uh, a little bit hesitant to find it at, at that time in the map. But then we were horrified. We were horrified that we had just exited World War II, which was devastating in Europe, as, uh, as you know, as it was here. Mm -hmm. um, and we were horrified to see that we had not learned the lesson. And here we go again, uh, another aggressive, imperialistic invasion from the north into the south. We were horrified and the atmosphere was, we got to do something about that. Mm -hmm. Then some people said, but we are a small country far away. We just got out of war ourselves. What are we going to do mm -hmm. when these big powers want to fight? And then the solution was, let's do something meaningful and, uh, and symbolic of support mm -hmm. uh, to the Republic of Korea. Let's send a hospital ship. It was not an easy solution for us mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. And it was small compared to what the United States, United Kingdom, Turkey, we're delivering, but it was significant. And we're honored that they've seen us that way today uh, also. Mm -hmm. 
as a way of taking responsibility uh, in the world. That's fascinating, isn't it? Because the, the, the staff, uh, the doctors and the nurses that were on board the hospital ship, um, they loved Korea. And when they were celebrating, the war is not over, but we have an armistice, fighting has, uh, has stopped, um, they didn't think they had finished the job. So they stayed on, as did doctors and nurses from Sweden yeah. and from Norway. Mm -hmm. And together, uh, they helped establish what is today the National Medical Center. And I would encourage those of your viewers that have time, uh, to, there's a little museum there about that that happened that at the National Medical Center. You can, you, you, inside the, uh, the hospital, that you can go, go see. Uh, tell the whole story of what actually happened.